This video is proudly sponsored by New Type. Tools, accessories, model kits, these guys have it. Hop over to NewTypesHQ.com and use promo code UTAKABUTTER for 10% off on your next purchase. Hey, what's going on dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to another exciting build from the good folks from Billion Spark Craftsmanship. So why don't we get things started with the 135 scale Super Vehicle 001 MS Evolve from the popular video game franchise Metal Slug. And without further ado, let's get to it. Welcome back my dudes and dudes, and thank you for joining me on another nostalgic bill from the good folks from Billion Spark Craftsmanship. Now, I am no stranger when it comes to Neo Geo. In fact, I remember spending a lot of time in my local arcade playing games like Windjammers, Bubble Pop, King of Fighters 97 for hours on end. But Metal Slug was one of those rare gems that I caught on very late when the life cycle ended for arcades. And something told me I have to build another Metal Slug tank because I built one two years ago, which was great, but I wanted to build one that was close to what you see in the video game. And thus we have the Super Vehicle 001. MS Evolve. Now this particular box design is quite unusual from any other standard box art that you would get for a model kit. It has a very clean aesthetic to it, very easy to follow when you look at it from front and side to back, but this nice reflective gold parts for the bold font looks really really good, but most importantly it gets you excited on what you can really expect for this model kit with its weapon accessories, bullets, and also effect parts to boot. Now enough about that, what's inside the box? As always, you are happily greeted with the instruction man with a nice clean aesthetic and graphics are showing the tank in action. But that aesthetic pretty much ends right there and there because there's no color graphics at all. There is no backstory to what this tank is really for. It's actually pretty straightforward. You know what parts you're going to get. You have an idea what runners are going to go what and where. It's pretty bare bones. But I think the one thing that I have a big complaint with this instruction manual, it is not well thought out when it comes to putting on the water slide decals. And the reason for that, it's, you know, it's a third party kit. I mean, they probably had short time restraints and they need to get out in an orderly fashion. But that's no excuse for a kit that is insanely detailed with a lot of crazy little bits in here and there. So it would be nice that they follow through like with a number system like you'd expect for a Gundam model kit. But it's okay. At least they give you a color chart to do some custom painting if you choose to do so. First runners up, you're going to get an insane amount of tank treads, counting roughly 21 on both sides for this particular model kit. And the one thing that I absolutely love a kit is the abundancy of clear transparency parts. So if you're one of those individuals that grew up back in the day with that nice, like ice cold, transparent Game Boy Advance, and you really want to see like the inner parts, you can do so if you don't want to use the standard armor piece. But for this particular build, I'm going to rock it with the nice cool blue pieces. Next up, we're going to get two unique chrome pieces, one classic flat gold with another a nice chrome silver aesthetic for the tank treads as well as other little mechanical bits for the tank itself. A handful of cool blue pieces and a couple more inner pieces for the tank and that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. There's no movable arms, there's no feet, it is a tank. But the one thing I absolutely love about that is the accessories you get with it. You get the in like icon, you get a fuel tank, you get the weapons items that you would see in the uh, Metal Slug video game itself as well an abundancy of other little knickknacks but the one thing i absolutely love about this model kit is the water slide decals they are not only a great quality but they have this nice reflective surface to it that really makes them pop out and i have to give this company kudos for making something really really nice So just as I was getting ready to cut these runners out, I noticed that there was a weird like Vaseline residue on these particular runners and that has to do with the molding process from Billion Spark. Now, this isn't uncommon. This happens from big manufacturers like Kotobuki and Bendai, but they have strict quality controls there to help reduce that problem. But these guys, yeah, they didn't quite do it correctly, but it's not a problem. Just get yourself some detergent soap that you would use for your dishes and you should be good. It won't get rid of all the residue, but it'll get rid of it just enough so that way it doesn't interfere with your paint.
Alright my dudes and dudettes, as this video is wrapping up, I want to share with you guys my thoughts and impressions about this model kit, and they're very, very small, so let's get into it, shall we? So my biggest complaint with this particular kit is the quality control, and what I mean by that is there are certain pieces that just don't interconnect with each other correctly, like one cylinder is a hexagon shape, but clearly the piece you have is a circular shape, so the pegs don't plug in there correctly, even though it, it technically can't. Um, I think there was just some issues when it came to doing the actual 3D model and then incorporate what they have in the 3D model into an actual physical model. So the quality control for this particular kit is a big problem. Secondly, certain pieces just don't fit. You actually have to do some custom cutting and custom and uh, wizardry to make things interconnect correctly. It's just the inner frame was just a mess absolutely a mess and I can't tell you how many times I got extremely frustrated when certain things just didn't fit and last and finally my biggest complaint with this kit is the metallic pieces so just hear me out on this when you're just an average Joe or an average Jenny just buying this kit just as is you know you want some nice clean aesthetic to it as well when you're done with it right but when it comes to cutting these metallic pieces out they're gonna la they're gonna leave like a really nasty impact on you like when you cut the runners out they're gonna shear off the paint it's clearly going to be visible and it's just going to stick up like a sore thumb. So you're going to actually have to not only invest to get the right kind of paints, but you're going to actually need to buy, probably look for the most accurate chrome and gold metallic paint to really cover up those areas. I mean, me personally, I have like a, a big library of paint, but for those who just aren't affiliated when it comes to painting, it's going to be a nightmare. Now with all those problems, is this kit really worth the purchase? If you asked me that four years ago, I would have said no, because it was very expensive to get, and it, it's definitely not worth the headache for, for any beginner or pros to build this kit. It's definitely not worth the headaches. However, time has passed. The kit is affordable. I believe it's like under $25 if you look for it on eBay. And over time, as I was building this kit, I had a lot of fun. I love the inner frame. It's so clean. It's so well thought out. It's just, oof so much fun to build but if you can get through the hurdle of pieces falling off pieces breaking or just downright things just not fitting into place you will have a good time and as always thank you dudes and dudettes for watching this video and hey if you want to get your hands on these sweet evans designs led lights here's a link for you guys to follow to the website and i'll leave a description down below and i will see you dudes and dudettes on the next video later